Hey guys, so I'm going to film um, turning my BFF into me. Come on, I gotta show my twin. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this simple everyday look that I do. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself? Hmm? Hi, I'm Katie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I do hair. Obviously my yeah, hair. I'll link her stuff in the down bar if you live in the Fort Wayne, Indiana area. So, we're going to use Anastasia in soft brown. Yeah, you should make a channel. People would love, like, being able to snoop into your life. I don't think so. Oh, hi, Aria. Look at the beautiful kitty. She's like, can you stop? Hi. <laughs> oh. oh, she's so cute. A little baby. Oh, I'm gonna be here. She looks like Sylvester the cat. <laughs> <laughs> We're using Milani Prime Light. Okay, so this is the Jordana Sculpt and Go in medium. And now I'm going to use this new, I really like this stuff, the Infallible Pro Glow. I'm trying to, there. <laughs> it's in, I forgot what color it's in. I think I got it in light, but I'm not sure. Now we're going to do powder. Do you do you like like this stuff all over your face? I usually put it over, mainly focusing on like my oily areas. Mm -hmm. But I usually just put it all over. Like also, you like a loose powder more than a pressed. Um yeah, I feel like a pressed powder is gonna get more into my pores. Mm -hmm. But usually I'll go over once with that, and then I'll kind of mm -hmm. just go over my cheekbones more. So. Okay, so with this brush, and you tap it off. Mm -hmm. You just feel like it makes you less oily. Mm-hmm, like it mats it. Yeah. Because I do tend to get oily throughout the day. You do? So you don't like go back in with powder though, do you? No, I usually just let my skin be oily. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do too. I ain't nobody got time for that. And then you go like this, right? Mm-hmm. And I get my neck too. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Just to like kind of like blend it out. Be extra. Yeah. This is Arnie. This is my other baby. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like human interaction though. He's, He's the one I got uh, tattooed on my arm. Yeah. You want to show him? He's my baby. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no cameras. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and we're done. Your face looks great, just like that. Just kidding. This is the Wet n Wild um, blush, cream blush, and it's in Peach Bumps. I'm, I suck at that. I always do that. I don't know the name. This is um, the Wet n Wild Ombre blush in the Princess Daiquiris. 
And it's cool because it's like got a highlight built in it at the top. I think you would really like this for every day. Like you're not really a blush person, but this is very subtle. And actually I feel like it brings more warmth to your face. Warmth. Well, like not a gross warmth. Just so that that's the highlighter? No. No, it, it's pretty much like a highlight at the top. So. Oh, okay, that's mm -hmm. pretty. And then we're gonna use the Rimmel Maxi Bronzer in light. I'm just gonna bronze up her face. My face should not bronze. Okay, so you wanna focus it back here more. You don't wanna put it right in front of your face. Cause you wanna, um, when you do bronzer people, you wanna focus it where, not where the light hits. You wanna focus it where the sun and the shadows would naturally hit your face. You don't want it all over your face. I mean, some people, I mean, if that's what you wanna do, that's cool, but you wanna focus it more back here and you can bring it towards the front. And then the temples of your forehead. And then I like to do my nose on the side, just so my nose isn't floating around. And then jawline, neck. You probably like bronzer since you <laughs> and it would like help your neck blend in more. Like it? Ooh, sexy. Wait, you like it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm going to do highlight and then we'll go into eyeshadow. I'm going to first, I like with oily skin to use stick products first and then set it with a powder because me and her both have oily skin and things will slide around if you don't have something to set it. So I just use the Jordana Glow and Go Highlighter Stick in Radiant Glow. You know where to put highlighter, right? Not really. Okay. So you want to put it right here, like above your cheeks, and then, um, depending, if you're oily and don't like it in, on your forehead, you can put it on your temples, and it gives a subtle glow on your temples, and then... You can bring it down your nose a little bit and then the tip of the nose. You don't want the highlighter going all the way down. Just settle okay. like on the bridge and then the tip. And then I like to put it on the lip right here. So it makes your lips more juicy. And then some people put it on the chin, but I think I look more oily when I do that. So to set it, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Crown of My Canopy. It's like a bronze. A bronzy one. Okay, now we can do um eyeshadow. So in the Wet and Wild concealer and light ivory. I'm just gonna say primer. Do you like the highlighter? You look so freaking glowy. It's so pretty. I'm going to use, where is that one brush? Okay. So I'm going to use my Holy Grail palette, the Carly Bible palette. The Holy Grail. <laughs> and you do a primer or concealer, you want to set with a light color because if you just start putting color on, it's going to get chalky and stick in wet places. So. I'm going to use this light color to set her eyes. I'm going to use this color as my transition. It's like a bronzy color. I'm gonna go in with this deeper brown right here. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker color. Use this um, more ashy brown in the outer corner. Oh. <laughs> I told you it's like remember it said on the website it was like it means
means that you're a friend. She's like mm -hmm. putting her arm around you. <laughs> She's not like any other cat out there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with the orange shade again and just put that all over. So it's not more, it's less of a smoky eye. She ain't going to the club today, she's going to work, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the lid color. I'm going to do this really pretty peachy gold shade right here. So I'm gonna use this peach highlight for her inner corner and brow bone. Now I'm going to do eyeliner. Can you do the under eye? Mmm. You're right, you're right. I forgot to do that. So for her lower lash line, I'm just going to use this and then I'll use this on the outer part. So now I'm gonna do eyeliner, and since you're blonde, I can get away with doing brown, because um, since you have light, I don't know, it's just weird, it's a makeup trick I learned where Blondes should use brown eyeliner because it's not as like bold. Yeah. Do you have brown on? Mm hmm. That's brown? Yeah. Oh. It's like a black brown. Yeah. Well, this says dark brown, but. And I get um, black brown mascara too. She can do her mascara because. <laughs> And then we can poke somebody's eyes out. Okay, Scandal Eyes by Rimmel, I think it is. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go do it in a different mirror. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lipstick. Do you want lip balm on first? Matte lipstick dries shit out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna put this highlight on again. Please do. Make sure lips are juicy. Okay. I'm using Make It Last by Milani. <laughs> and there I we go. Went. Now she looks like me. I'm trying to. Okay, make some room. That is weird. You do kind of look like me. <laughs> that is creepy. Does she look like me? <laughs> She wears it. Oh my god, that is weird. You kind of do look like me. I just don't have this shit. E. <laughs> okay, so if you like the video, comment, like, subscribe, please. And if you're in the Fort Wayne, Indiana area, please go check Katie out for some dope hair. She's at, can I say it? Okay, West Central Hair Company, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I'll put all of her stuff in the down bar. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Dysfunctional. Okay, I don't even know what to say because this is weird. You're like listening. Okay, so I don't want to talk in front of you. It's awkward. Okay, I'll come back.